Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Morgan and I'm obsessed with all things beauty and skincare related. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Fresh Milk Body Lotion right here. Doesn't it look delicious? Let's get right into the video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Morgan. I review all luxury skincare things. I love it. I think it works the best. And I really just like to have fun with you guys here on YouTube and just discuss and review these great skincare products because I don't know if everyone really likes to do it. But anyway, the brand Fresh, if you don't know, it's a super popular brand in Sephora. Ulta, it's been around before it was even in Sephora. It's a nice brand. When it comes to body products, I am very particular about what I use. I am definitely sensitive on my arms and on my chest area, and I love to uh, moisturize my arms and my chest every single night. Of course, my legs after shaving, my stomach, I pretty much moisturize my whole body. Uh, no joke, because I love to be silky soft and smooth and healthy, and I think skincare is not only important on your neck and your face, but of course you have to take care of the rest of your body. I mean, I think it's very important. You do need different skincare products for your body. I mean, I would love to apply creme de la mer all over my body, but you know what? It's just not that easy or affordable to do, so body products it is. So when it comes to body products, I do love gentle milk-based products. Non-scented, definitely, I do best with. And I've been using the Beekman 1802 Body Cream. Uh, it's a goat milk brand, and I've been absolutely loving that. Before that, I was using First Aid Beauty. Uh, I That was my tried and true. Then it was 1802 Beekman. Then I said, you know what? I want to switch it up for you guys uh, because I've been through multiple, multiple tubs. And then I tried this little delicious looking thing. I just want to drink it, don't you? It has soothing plant-based milks, uh, centella, rice, and linseed. It's made with love. You get 8.7 fluid ounces for $42. I believe I picked this one up at Ulta, I want to say, but it's also sold at Sephora. And I've been using it. Uh, what I like about this product, I'm going to put it on the back of my hand, I'll show you. It's not a body butter. It's definitely more like a creamy lotion. Uh, so it comes out like this. If you don't like your body product to be too thick, um, and you don't want to feel it. This, it's actually designed to be light on your skin. So here it is. And I take it all down my arms. And it does have very fast absorption. But you do feel like it is moisturizing. Sometimes when a product is fast absorbing, I personally don't like feeling like it was just never on my skin. I do like my body products to feel moisturizing. Now I just have to use my other arm because I can't go like with one arm feeling really hydrated. They do state that it hydrates for up to 24 hours with plant-based hydrating milks. And I do have to agree with that. I do feel moisturized yet light. I don't feel sticky once this product sinks in, which it does rather quickly. My skin feels really, really nice. I do have to say, I don't feel like it's greasy on my skin. I don't feel like it's like sweaty or sticky or drying or anything like that. It has no odor to it, which I love because especially with body products, if there's heavily scented or something, I will get breakouts on my chest and I'm definitely prone to breakouts on my back and definitely on my shoulder blades. I will definitely get um, almost like cystic acne uh, if I'm using the wrong body products on my chest and on my back. And I found like milk-based soothing, non-scenting products worked the best for me. So this product has been doing really, really, really nice. I didn't know what to expect, to be honest with you. I have been going through it rather quickly. Maybe it's because of the texture, it not being a body butter. I personally, 
You know what? I don't have anything bad to say about the product, to be honest with you. I think it does a really, I mean, like you could still see it on my arm. Like you could see the hydration on my arm. I think it keeps things nice. I think it does its job really, really well. I think I've used a lot of this product pretty quickly for $42. Maybe it is because of the texture and the type of person that I am. I like to use a lot of body butters, like body moisturizer, especially in the summer. If I did get sun, I like to feel super, super hydrated. I don't mind if I'm a little like sticky and like a little like, I don't want to say greased up because that's not a really good. I just don't mind extra hydration on my skin. So I will use a lot of the product, even on my legs after shaving. Like I have no problem just like squirting a bunch on my hands and just like moisturizing my legs like all over the place. So I do tend to use this product a lot and rather quickly. So cost effectiveness is a little concerning to me. I know I'm like the last one to speak, <laughs> but like whatever, if you don't care about that, that's fine. The product itself works. Very nice. I am a big fan. I would have no problem repurchasing this again. I have nothing bad to say. No, it has niacinamide in it. It has squalene in it. It has vitamin E, hyaluronic acid. I mean, that's really good ingredients that you really want. And they're very high on the list. Plant-based milks. Uh, let's read a little bit about, oh, it balances out your pH. It purifies, it soothes, it strengthens. It's great for all skin types. The daily moisturizing body lotion is infused with plant-based milks, um, linseed rice uh, centella to condition and strengthen the skin's barrier. It has a lightweight texture that leaves a velvety soft feel that won't cling to clothes while offering deep hydration that lasts all day. 24 hour deep hydration. I do have to agree with that. I don't have any flaky skin while using this product. Uh, some products I use all end up dry by the end of the day. And I have not had that problem once with this product. And that is something to note. I do wanna say this that I also think is very helpful because in the summertime, I'm prone to patchiness. Some say it's, um, especially when I was younger, I, was it vitiligo? I don't think it was. I've been to dermatologists when I was very young. I was very prone to a lot of white patchiness on my shoulder or like my arms here. And it was pretty bad. And no matter what moisturizers I would use, it just, it would honestly just be itchy and flake off. Some people would say it was a fungal issue. Um, I would get like cortisone creams. I would have prescribed creams from my dermatologist. I'm talking teenage years. So what I've learned growing up, it's also very important. Sometimes I will notice like cheaper body products. I will see sometimes like patchiness on my arm. So that's also why I have to make sure I use high quality body lotions. And I've noticed again, non-scented products like these with no like floof if you will, work best on me. And I haven't noticed any of those patches. I mean, my arms are all very even in tone. So I have to say that the pH balance and everything has been working with this product. I do wanna note that for you guys. Um, and it leaves behind a velvety soft feel. I mean, I've had nicer, I think the Beekman 1802 body cream leaves a nicer texture behind, but honestly, in terms of whether or not this product works, um, I think that outweighs cosmetics. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think this product is more about its effectiveness, in my opinion, than it is about the cosmetic overall effect. So that's how I feel about this product. It's $42. It does what it says it's gonna do. Uh, you can get a travel size for $16. I don't recommend that because I think you'll use it very fast. But I mean, hey, you know what? If you're, what, how big is a travel? Oh, 2.5 fluid ounces. Okay, well, if you wanna take it to the beach, I, I definitely recommend it, um, especially if you're gonna be in the sun. I like it. It's worked very well for my skin and I would definitely recommend it to you guys if you want a great 
hydrator for your skin year round. Everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I've made some good points for you guys and definitely subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more skincare reviews. Let me know what products you would recommend that's great for the body. Uh, body products this summer. That's definitely good for me to know because I'm already down to here and I'm going to be looking for a new body product uh, very soon. So I will catch you guys in the next video. Love you. Bye.